do some moose hunting, and they they take some pretty pretty sizable cannons up there to do that with. Um, definitely don't shoot a moose with a small gun. Piss him off, <laughs> you know. <laughs> You might not kill him. You ain't gonna kill him, but you're damn sure piss him off. You're probably not gonna. Actually, I did get to lift that one. Wow. And there's a few people, on, and those same guys, they do some bear hunting. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, there's not a lot of bear in Connecticut. Um, there are a few. Um, okay. That's really not a big, it's not a small gun, but it's not a big cannon. Okay, I don't see any more logs, so I guess we got to cut another tree down. Boy, this is going to be fun now it's getting dark on me. Yeah, that's about what my friends in Carolina used to use for deer, 30 alt 60s. I don't know what these guys here in Connecticut that I know that go moose hunting, I don't know what they use for that. I, I would think you would want something pretty good size though, because um, that moose is bigger than a car. You certainly want to kill him. You don't want to piss him off, that's for sure. <laughs> You don't want to go out there with no 22 rifle shooting to the moose, you know. <laughs> Hits that switch off. They're pretty good sized animal. Up in the mountain part of Connecticut, we have more variety. I live out here on the eastern side. Um, kind of near Hartford. About the center of the state, I guess. I'm not, I'm not really that close to the ocean. I'm not really that close to the New York border. But out towards New York, up in that area, it's kind of a really rural part of the state. And that's where we have most of the bear and moose and stuff like that hanging out. Once in a while, we'll have a moose come out here Hang, get in the middle of the road and walk by. They have to come back to life, move me back up into the forest section. Let's see. Let's see if I can get.
Yeah, we're about I'm about a two hour ride from New York City. Close enough to go when we want to go, but far enough away from it that it really doesn't bother us. Um, it's a fun place to visit. I certainly would not live there, but it's I like to go down maybe once, twice a year, roam around. They got every fucking thing there. It's actually out on Times Square, there's a little place called the Museum of Sex. Always wanted to go in there and just see what the hell kind of displays they had, you know. I, I'm not. What the hell? Who would ever think of opening up a museum of sex? But it's right on Times Square. I think it deals with the old days when Times Square used to wasn't as glamorous. Times Square used to be a lot of strip bars, porn shops. Stuff like that back in the 60s and 70s. So I think that's what the museum is about. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we're done with them. I hope. Tired of hearing about Hillary and her damn emails. Uh, I hope they crawl back under a rock and leave us the hell alone. Yeah, this makes work. I can use my chainsaw and flashlight at the same time. Uh, for some reason, he don't want to let me cut again. Maybe I've already cut it. Come on now. Where's it at? I actually ride by every time we go to New York, we ride by Trump Tower. They sit right on the side of the road. Can't miss them. Yeah, that's. Bad part is we got that over with. Now we got the right and shit. Over entitled assholes. Um, little young people have no clue what they're protesting about. They're just the media told them it was cool to do it, so they're out there doing it, making asses out of themselves. You're not going to change anything. Um, your crook law, the other crook won. Deal with it. You know? They're both crooks. I mean, let's face it, every, that's the definition of a politician is a criminal that hadn't got caught yet. They're all 
crooked. I've never, I'm quite a bit older than most people. Um, definitely older than these people out running the street. I've never saw a politician that actually did everything he said he was going to do. They'll say anything to get you to vote for them. I don't know. Okay, there it went. Are we making any progress here? Yeah, slowly but surely. I think I might have thrown that one over into the kipper. Um, probably till about I get off here. This is probably the last thing I'm going to do today. As I can say, I'm, I'm not even started what I want to get done. I want to, I got all those down there to cut down. Still got two or three up here to cut down. Certainly not going to get them all cut down today. Um, I'd like to get enough of them cut where I could work on this field a little bit tomorrow. Um, whole purpose of cutting these down is so I can expand that field there. I actually own that field. So my whole purpose is I want to bring the field all the way out to the road. And make a nice little addition to it there. But can't really do any of that until I'm rid of the trees. May not cut a whole lot more today, though, because um, eventually you cut so many of them, the price goes down. And makes it makes you really wonder if it's worth it to do it. So if it's not exactly a quick job. Just kind of time consuming. I'd like to get the bank account up to seven hundred thousand off of it. I can cut a log off of this. I'm certainly not going to leave that drifting up that high. Get another piece off of that. If we quit doing that. That's a good question. So, um, probably one you would be better off asking somebody else because I have no clue, man. Um, 